Hey everybody, how you doing? Got a question for you. Who's the best pilot you ever saw? Who? Tell me right now, down below. Who? Uh, <laughs> well, you're looking at him. <laughs> oh, how you doing? Anyways. Moving forward. So we're moving on with uh, that. And uh, we're going to be looking at email today. So this is going to be a good one. It's going to be a shorter one. Uh, not quite as long. I'm not going to get super detailed into it or anything like that. But I'm going to tell you about it a little bit and uh, show you the uh, web solution that is available. So. Let's look at email on today's edition of DiscQuest. Okay, so welcome on back. Hope you enjoyed that little explosion and the music. Uh, but we are going to be moving on uh, with this edition of this quest, which is focusing on email. And, uh, you know, it's like, how old is email? Well, it's pretty stinking old at this point. Uh, it's been around for a very long time. And uh, it's also become a way to social engineer situations uh to get money from people stuff like that you know uh they took the word for a you know a meat product you know spam um and just loading people's inboxes with garbage and stuff like that so you know any any individual essentially has to have more than one email address uh because you know they get so much of junk that then you separate it out I've done that myself. I've got my got my personal one and um you know nothing is you know it doesn't get anything from anybody really uh outside of uh family, friends and acquaintances. And uh and then I have my junk or miscellaneous email for you know spam garbage business you know, everything that's not personal. So there we go. Uh, yeah, do I want businesses to have my email address? No. <laughs> so only certain people are allowed that. Um, and uh, Disroot actually provides an email service. And um, I could be wrong, but I think it might have been one of the uh, first things that was provided when they started up. And, of course, that was eight years ago i think correct me if i'm wrong but we're going to be taking a look at it today and um let's uh take a look so we're out here on that go to services and bang the first one on the list email that's another hint on why it was actually may have been the the very first service that disroot provided and just give this a moment to get that. And here we go. We've got a lot of people in the background here. And their arms are interlinked. Great. Fantastic. And there's a dog right here. Now, what is this photo as a whole? Well, considering a lot of the different th things that uh, the district site um, portrays and stuff like that, I'm thinking this to be a group of people that are interlinked to prevent uh, anybody of any authority from busting through. It's a protest of some type, which it could be. I don't know. I can't tell. There's nothing, there's no signs or anything. Ooh, and this guy's got a hip pack. Ooh, straight out of the 90s, dude. All right. And then you've got this doggy. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. Anyhow. Disroot's email. They say, Disroot provides secure email accounts for your desktop client or via a web interface. 
So communication between you and the mail server is encrypted with SSL. I believe that's a secure socket layer or a single socket layer or something like that. It's a it's socket layer, that's for sure. <laughs> Furthermore, all emails being sent out from our servers are encrypted as well using TLS if the recipient's email server supports it. Um, this means that emails no longer sent as traditional postcard, but are actually put into an envelope. It's like when you send out, you know, mail, snail mail to the post office or by a post you know, for the folks over in uh, Europe, you know, I put it through the post. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, nevertheless, we encourage you to always be cautious when using email communication and to all and to make use of GPG end to end encryption to ensure your correspondence is as private as can be. So that way, like if it happens to be intercepted by somebody that's you know, got malignant tendencies, um, can't see what it is. You can use your favorite email clients, such as Thunderbird, Evolution, K-Mail, Clause Mail, and so on. And the actual settings for that, is, you know, to use your client are right here. So they support IMAP, SMTP, SMTPS, that S meaning secure, and POP, Post Office Protocol. That's like the oldest of that I can think of. So, delimiters. You can use delimiters such as a plus sign in your email address to create sub addresses like username plus whatever at district.org. For example, for filtering and tracking spam. Example, David at disroot can be set up uh, David plus bank at district.org that he could give to his bank or any other business or any other spammy kind of thing, and it can be used to send and receive emails. That's, that's a nice little option. But we're going to be focusing on the webmail. So just to kind of show you what it looks like, you can kind of see it here. I can't zoom in on it. But you can access your mail from any devices using our webmail at webmail.disroot.org. And this is hyperlinked. And our webmail is powered by Roundcube. That's a funny word a little bit because you think, well, what is a Roundcube? Ball. Oh. But they, would, they don't call it ball. They call it round cube. Uh, round cube is a modern approach to webmail. It's simple, fast, and provides most features that one could expect from webmail. And it goes down further. What is encryption? Encryption is uh, when you change data with a special encoding process so that the data becomes unrecognizable. Henceforth, it's encrypted. There you go. And uh, you can use Mailvelope which is kind of like a good play on the words of mail and envelope, which is a browser add-on in Chrome, Edge, and Firefox that securely encrypts your emails with PGP using Disroot e webmail. And uh, you can check this how-to, and it's hyperlinked. And you can also have custom domain linking. This feature is a perk for your financial contribution to the project. So in other words, if you donate uh, to Disroot, uh, you get a little perk that you can use custom domain linking. I have custom domain linking through my, um, through my webmail provider, um, my email provider. I use Thunderbird, but um, I use it for that. So I don't need to use it for Disroot, so I don't need to. But it allows you to use your own domain to be able to send and receive emails. This is a lifetime reward, meaning. And this, May just be me talking, but based on it is a lifetime reward, I'm thinking, yeah, it's a lifetime reward as long as you continue to donate. If you're regular, if you're a regular don donator, you know, on a regular basis, you know, whether it be monthly, yearly, whatever. So you can also request perks. Okay. You can add stores to your mailbox. Each one gets one uh, free gigabyte but you can extend it and uh, they got the prices per year payment fees are all included and it's all in euros so five gigs 11 euros up to 60 gigs 110 euros i even need 60 gigs is beyond me but uh, okay <coughs> folks in the eu 
very important. You are subjected to an extra VAT or value added tax of 21%. Awesome. <laughs> sure. Okay. It is what it is. There you go. So we are going to go up and we are going to log in. Do I need to? I think I may have already. No, I need to. Okay. So here we go, we are logging in, and here we go, here's the look of it. And uh, this is the uh, light thing, let me just take a quick peek here, my, come on, oh yeah, duh, let me come out of here real quick, ah, there we go, okay, I'm back, there we go, sorry about that. Just had to correct my, had to turn off my dark reader for the site. So, here we go. All right, so, we've got the beetroot theme going on here, which is that maroon color and everything. And, uh, you know, it's very simple. You got some information up here. You got, here's the logo for the email. Here's your address. And then in this box here, you got all of these, your inbox drafts, sent, and so on. On the far left, you've got your different things. Currently, email is uh, highlighted. And uh, in this column over here, you've got all of the listing of your all of your current emails that you have in your inbox. And over here is kind of like a preview pane. And this is really cool that they put the this root logo with you know the D with your root here. Uh, that's really cool. And then you got your reply, reply all, forward, delete, archive, junk labels, market, and more. You may or may not be able to see that, but I see it. Where you got things such as import, download, edit as new, show source, move to, copy to, open in a new window, create filter. Here, I'm going to click on example email, and here, here's an example email I sent to myself. And you can see the email over here. This is my overall email signature so you can pause it and read it it's kind of funny but at the same time maybe not i don't know you decide for yourself anyways this is an example email and we've got a hyperlink here this goes right to the disroot website and there we go if you have a, if you start composing when we take a look at a composition of one here it is from you to whoever you decide to send it to the subject and then you it's basically a, it's, it's a pretty standard formatting for generating an email you know you've got all of your options up along here you've got your body area where you can actually type and everything and then you can send it you can also open it in a new window over here you can have options and attachments uh the maximum allowed file size for attachments is 64 megs that's a pretty forgiving amount be happy with it you can attach a file you can attach a v card you can do a return receipt delivery status notification you can keep the formatting priority save message in whatever folder you can select it stuff like that if you have uh, contacts this will actually go to your contacts now of course it's asking me if i want to get rid of this email yeah, I'm not sending one, so I'm going to discard it. Here we go. Personal addresses, collected recipients, trusted senders, contacts, accounts. I don't have any contacts. There's no accounts. There's me. <laughs> Recently contacted. And then, of course, then you've got your settings down here. Folders, identities, responses, card dev, filters, out of office, forwarding. And then you have sub, uh, like a sub menu of different things. Click on folders. You get all these. Click on identities, you get whatever's here. So like folders, you know, all of your email folders. And let's see for out of office, you can go here, you can create your out of office subject. You can write your body, hey, I'm not in the office or I'm not home. Whatever applies. Uh, you can put a date range on it so that it's effective only between certain dates, when it starts, when it ends. And what the current status is on or off. 
advanced setting uh, advanced settings reply sender address my email address reply interval uh, how many days i think you can no it's just days incoming message action keep it you can discard it you can redirect it to someplace you can send a copy someplace and you can save that for forwarding you can uh for incoming emails you can execute the following action send copy to and you can also redirect it somewhere and you can put in the email address here the status is off or on you can save it there you go so i'll go back to mail here you can see that so you can see the nice little logo and uh you know that's really cool i really like that so that's really nice and it is very good to have um i actually use one for the channel uh it's anchorage at disroot.org so and that's actually uh connected to my youtube channel i don't know if it's connected to my odyssey but it might be um it's been so long i forget but i bet that's what it is <laughs> it's logic so there we go that is email from disroot and um I've got uh, one more video to go uh, for the series. Will there be any other? I don't know. Can't tell you right now. So, anyways, but uh, that's it for this video. And uh, we will talk to you later. So, thank you very much. Skull. To victory. <laughs>